Hi, I'm Jeff Stokes. Welcome to Jeff's Daily Dose of Encouragement. Today I want to encourage you to apologise. Now, there's a couple of different aspects to apologising that I want to share with you. First of all, the obvious one is if you've done something wrong to someone and you know you've hurt them or done something in any way, shape or form to them and, and you know you're wrong, don't be proud about it. Go and apologise and say, look, I'm really sorry I did this, please forgive me, or whatever. The other situation is whereby you have had a, maybe you've had a disagreement or an upset with somebody and they said something and you said something but you you know you feel like maybe you didn't really do anything wrong but there's a breach in that relationship uh, particularly this I think is important in marriages but any close relationship where you're having an ongoing relationship with people my um, my advice to you is to Swallow your pride and go and apologise, and be the even be the first one to make the move and go and apologise. I've done that in situations, and it's repaired the relationship because sometimes you see there are people around, and I had a relative like this, and um, there are people around who just they just never apologise. Even if they're wrong, they'll never apologise. But especially if they never did anything wrong, they say, "Well, I didn't do anything wrong. I'm not going to apologise." Or they feel like they can speak or do whatever they like and people just have to like me just the way I am sort of thing. So there are people out there who are really stubborn and full of pride and won't apologise even if they are wrong. So that's my encouragement in those areas. Some of us, I tend this way, I tend to feel in my, in my heart about any breach in a relationship and I always want to repair it and that's a good heart to have but some people that they're, they're not like that they tend to clamp down and close off and, 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 might, and might make the first move and fine there are times when clearly you've been wronged and clearly it's not up to you to make that move it's up to other people and you can tell them their fault but they will not apologize or whatever but all you can do is forgive them and there's the extreme situation and, and uh, there's people that are over apologetic you know that even if they didn't do anything they feel guilty and they feel like they've got to apologize and they're always going sorry 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 to even all the time and people can have a bit of a guilt complex um, whereas another person does the opposite and they don't have any qualms or conscience about things whatsoever and there are two extremes and the, the one needs to just be a bit more I guess secure in who they are so they're not just taking on taking on other people's offences as if they are at fault all the time and th that can be the situation in, in, in abusive situations whereby one person is dominating another and the other one feels like they have to apologise in order to appease the other one who's the abuser that's clearly unhealthy and the other situation as I've mentioned before where there's a person who's it's always everybody else's fault and they'll never apologize and you always have to apologize so I hope I've covered pretty much everything but my basic encouragement for you today is you know be willing to apologize when you've done something wrong and even if you haven't done something wrong and it's you know it's right to repair a relationship go and do that because oftentimes, you know, there's times when we might not feel like we've done something wrong, but how we come across or how we've dealt with the person or how, how we've done things, we might not see it as wrong, but it's really uh, done damage to them. So that's my encouragement for you today. If you don't know the Lord Jesus Christ, if you confess with your mouth the Lord Jesus and believe in your heart that God raised him from the dead, you will be saved. For whosoever shall confess that Jesus is the Son of God, God dwells in him and he in God. <clears throat> and we should know, if we don't already, that Jesus Christ died on the cross and took the penalty 
for the sins that we had done. He took our offences on himself and was punished for it so that we could be free. So that is what we sometimes need to take it on the chin and apologise just to repair a relationship because that's what he did. He took his our offences on him so to repair the relationship with us and sometimes we need to do that with others. God bless you. Have a great day.